Hey guys, this is Coach Alyssa from Isabel Fitness and today I'm going to take you through some mobility. Alright, so for today we're going to start off in a pigeon pose. Alright, so we're going to come down. Alright, we're starting in this position here, just a tabletop position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to straighten out one leg. Alright, you're going to keep one leg nice and straight. And with the other leg, we're going to bring this one in. And then if we can bring our foot towards the center, we can. And then we're gonna lay back into this leg that we're keeping nice and long. All right, I'll come up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so I'm really sinking into this hip right now. My knee is bent, my foot is right here. Now if you're more flexible, your foot may be able to come up higher in this position. Um, if you're a little bit less flexible, your foot may be directly under your, uh, your leg here. All right, what we want to focus on is staying directly over top of this foot, staying directly on top of that opposite leg. All right, and really sitting into our hips here. All right, we don't want to be sitting back here when we're doing this. If we're sitting onto our butt here, we're doing it wrong. All right, so make sure our hips are up and we're centered. All right, and if we feel good, we can bring our forearms down to the ground and hang our head here, feel a little bit of a deeper stretch. And we'll hold this for another 30 seconds and then switch to the other side. All right, we can come on up, back to our tabletop position. All right, and we're gonna get back into our other pigeon. All right, so for here, you're gonna bring your opposite leg back, the one that we didn't do before. Other one's gonna come forward. And again, we're gonna bring this foot in if it feels good, and we're gonna sink that back leg over the body here. All right, we're gonna stay nice and stacked. We're not gonna sit down to our hip, right? We're gonna stay up. And we're gonna bring our forearm down to the floor if it feels comfortable. If we're feeling it intensely enough here, we can stay here as well. All right, so we're gonna hold this one for about 45 seconds and then move on to our next movement. Again, you can come out of the forearm stretch, get it a little bit deeper and come back up. Whatever feels best for you, you can hang your head, get in a little bit deeper into this stretch. Last 20 seconds. All right, we're gonna come up into a wide V pose. All right, so we're gonna sit back. We're gonna bring both legs nice and wide. All right, here. All right, so we're sitting, we're bringing our legs nice and wide. You may already be feeling a stretch here if we're a little bit more flexible. We might be able to get the legs a little bit wider. Um, from here, we're going to lean forward, bring our head forward, and feel a deeper stretch on the inside of our legs here. All right, so here I'm allowing us to really fold over um, and bring our head to the to the ground as close as we can, our arms here. Uh, now for me, I'm not feeling very flexible here. I feel a little bit tight, so I'm gonna come in and out of this stretch. And you can do that, you don't have to stay here. All right, in this stretch, you can come out of it, come back in, bring the feet in just a little bit more so we can get a bigger stretch here. We shouldn't be feeling pain at all in here, just a nice stretch. All right. So we're bending forward, we'll hold here. Another 30 seconds.
All right, now we're gonna take it to one side at a time. So I'm gonna have us curl one leg in. We can curl our left leg in. All right, keeping the right out. And now we're gonna specifically focus on one side at a time. All right, so I'm gonna have us turn towards that leg. And we're gonna bring our arms down the leg as much as we can. Feel a big stretch on that side. We're gonna feel a little bit of a stretch in our back here. If you'd like, you can open up as well bringing this arm up overhead and turning inside a little bit more. Feel a nice stretch here. All right, or you can come down this way, try to flatten out a little bit more, head to our leg. We'll hold this for another 20 seconds and then switch to the other side. Come on up, take a second, and then we're gonna switch legs. Bringing that opposite leg out, this time right leg coming in. All right, already right here, I'm feeling a nice hamstring strike right in the back of my leg. All right, with a little bit of forward lean into that leg. All right, so that's what we're aiming for, is feeling that nice stretch on the back of our leg here while we lean in. All right, I can bring one arm down, remember, and then one arm up in the air and turn my chest forward a little bit. We can stay here, as well as coming down to our leg and folding forward. All right, we're gonna hold this for 40 seconds here. And then we will move into our next position. All right, come on up. We're gonna go into our tree pose next. So if you're familiar with yoga po poses, you'll probably feel familiar with a tree pose. All right, from here, this is gonna be a little bit about balancing and stabilizing a little bit more. All right, so we're going to keep one leg nice and bent here. The other foot is gonna come up. And we're going to balance on the one leg while keeping our other leg, our foot, to our ankle here at the bottom. All right, if you feel comfortable and you feel flexible enough, you can bring this leg up to our thigh. Now, that is if you're flexible enough and you feel you can hold it there. All right, so we either can hold it high on our thigh or we can hold it down here by our calf, by our ankle. All right, I'm gonna keep it here for today, um, but we really only want to pick a position that we can hold in for a little while. All right, so. We're gonna balance here. All right, I'm gonna keep a little bit of a bent knee here in this stretch. And then I'm bring my arms up in my tree pose. All right, this will get us nice and warm. Work on our balance a little bit in this tree pose. Always remembering to breathe, always remembering that through all these movements, we should be keeping our core, our abdomen nice and tight, all right? And I always say, like, if you're not sure how to do that or if you are doing that, keep our chest and our belly button close together in that little almost crunch position here. All right, so we're here in our tree pose. We're gonna hold for another 10 seconds and then we are going to switch to our next movement. Or should I say, switch to the other side. All right, come on down. We're gonna to switch to the other leg, same thing. Get into position. All right, once we found our balance here, arms will come up. 
and we're going to hold this for 40 seconds here. When we're doing this too, we should be focusing on keeping this leg out, um, not just kind of resting it here. We want this leg to come out, feeling this stretch here as well. Twenty seconds. Breathing, keeping my abdomen tight. Okay, and resting here. All right. Next thing that we're gonna go into here for our mobility is our forward fold. Um, where we're gonna make a little bit of an extra addition to that today. All right, so for your regular forward fold, we're gonna just let our back piece by piece come down. And we're releasing our, our upper back here, our lower back here. Just letting our head weigh us down here pulling our arms to the floor or just in this hanging position. All right, so this is our regular forward fold. What I would like us to do today, which may help us feel a little bit bigger stretch if we can do it, otherwise we can stay here. You're gonna bring your hands together behind your back. All right, and from here, you're gonna push them up. You should almost see a little bit of a bigger stretch here on our upper back. Now, if we don't feel comfortable in this position, we don't have to stay here. You can always bring your hands down to the floor again. But we'll hold here for another 20 seconds. Good. And if you weren't sure on this one, we weren't keeping our legs completely locked out. We weren't keeping a bent knee because uh, we're looking to just let our whole body fall into our, our head and our upper back and weigh us down in the front just to release our back, our upper back and our lower back. All right, next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go from up dog into down dog. So, we're gonna come down all right, almost into a seal position here. All right, our hips are through and our, our legs are down. All right, an up dog is just going to be legs off the floor. Then we can push up into a downward dog. Stay here for a few seconds. Come down, nice and slow, chest up keeping our thighs off the floor. If we don't feel like we can do that, we can come down to the seal pose. But if we can maintain it, we'll stay up here. And we're gonna move through these. So see what feels good. We're gonna move through both our down dog, feeling a nice calf hamstring stretch here, down into our up dog, feeling a nice little stretch in our back and our core. All right, and like I said, if it feels better here, we can come all the way down and pressing back up. And coming back down. Pressing back up. Good, and rest. Especially in our up dog position, that can be a tough position to maintain. Um, so we're moving through our up dog and our down dog to feel a nice stretch in both areas. All right, now we're gonna do um, a stretch where we're gonna bring our foot on top of our knee in a laying position. All right, so you can lay down onto your mat. All right, from here, we're just gonna take one leg at a time. We're gonna cross it over the other one. And then from here, we're gonna push down on our knee to feel a little bit of a deeper stretch here. Right, you should feel a little maybe release in our back here. Opening up our legs, our back. All 
All right, so pressing down on that knee, feeling a bigger stretch. We're gonna hold here for another 45 seconds, and then we're gonna move to the other side. All right, you can let it go for a second and then press back into it. Bring that leg a little bit deeper, feel maybe a little bit more intense stretch here. And then we're going to switch to the other side. All right, so bringing the opposite leg up and now again, pressing into that knee again, feeling a nice stretch. to hold here for another 30 seconds and then we're going to go into our last mobility movement for the day. All right, now this one is going to be a two-parter. All right, so we're going to bring this foot down. And after our last one, we're going to go into a happy baby pose. All right, so you're going to bring your knees in here, from here before we go into our happy baby. Let's just open up our back a little bit here by moving side to side with our hips, keeping our back flat to the floor. All right, this is really going to feel good on the lower and upper back. Getting everything moving here. And then for our happy baby, we're gonna bring our hands to the inside of our feet or to the inside of our ankles here, depending on how flexible we are. Our legs are going to stay bent. If you're able to touch the bottom of your feet, you can here, and we're gonna be in this kind of wide position. You may feel a little bit of a stretch in your legs, all right? And then from here, we can stay here. You can hold here. You can also move side to side just like we were before. Feel a little bit more on our back as well. So on our legs as well as our back, getting a nice stretch in this position. And we're gonna hold this or move on our back like this for another 30 seconds today to end off our mobility session. All right, and you can bring the feet down for a second, release for a second and come back up, moving side to side or just staying here and feeling a big stretch. All right, and then slowly bring your legs back together, coming back in and coming up to standing. All right. Thank you so much for joining me for this mobility session and I will see you guys in the next one.